Now, tonight sees the final part of Long Lost Families' What Happened Next series. In a moment, Richard Q and his birth mother, Pat Walker, will be telling me how their lives have changed since their reunion five years ago. Richard would say, Mum, and it just sounded so odd. Someone else calling my mum, Mum. It was so odd. You never had a brother. You no. never had any. There was only was ever only you, you and me. me. Yeah. yeah. There was me feeling underlying jealousy. Emotionally, I was very vulnerable, and I think it caused um, a bit of a breakdown with me. Dawn had been an only child for many, many years, and suddenly this bloke turns up who's, who happens to be her brother. I understand that it could be a shock to her. Well, Richard and Pat join me now. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, folks. It's great to see you. I mean, Richard, it's it's a remarkable story, particularly from your perspective. Um, and it has been challenging. We just saw Dawn talking there as well. But how, how has family life changed for you in the past few years? Well, it's changed dramatically. As, um, we've inherited a uh, sister, stepsisters, aunts, uncles abroad. Um, and uh, we was quite a small family before that, and uh, we're now, now quite a big family. And obviously then, Pat, uh, you've, you've welcomed Richard with open arms. But we just saw Dawn there, who was your daughter, who, who grew up obviously assuming that she was an only child. And, and Dawn really struggled when she came to terms with the fact that she actually had a sibling. Yes, she did, but um, they're very close now, actually. In the, during the time that we found Richard, or rather Richard found us, um, all the um, scared um, reunion and everything is over and done with. Um, they're very close now, very friendly. And, um, and it's lovely to see that she has a sibling. Mm -hmm that um, she's got somebody else except for me. Yeah. And Pat, what was it like the day you got that call from the programme, Long Lost Family, to say that Richard wanted to make contact? It came by letter, first of all, um, from a researcher. I didn't know it was Long Lost Family at all. And um, my husband and I, we were quite excited. And we phoned the researcher that evening and... Um, and then everything moved so quickly. The next day they came and saw us. And um, it, it was really exciting. It was amazing. Yeah, very exciting. And of course, Richard, describe in that moment when you met your mum for the first time after all of those years, because you always knew you'd been adopted. So that wasn't the shock, but actually seeing her in person must have just been overwhelming. Yes, it sort of takes you a little bit by surprise at the end of it. You, you sort of, um, oh it, it's, it's, a, it's a weird feeling, um, but, a, but a good one at the same time that uh, you're meeting someone for the first time, um, but you have this, this uh, connection with, um, and um, it's, it's a, I don't know whether it's a human thing, but uh, you certainly have a connection with someone, um, maybe it's just the knowledge that it's your mother. Mm -hmm. um, that's the yeah. way I think. That biological link. But I guess, Richard, and, and there are many in your position where there is fear opening those doors of communication because you are scared of the emotions that you may be unleashing. I mean, we talk about what Dawn went through there. Were you concerned at all before making contact that it might not be the outcome that you wanted? Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's there's always that risk that it's not going to work out. Um, but um, uh, I think it's something that I needed to do. Um, my wife instigated most of it behind it, uh, the scenes, in that uh, encouraging me to to go ahead with the search with Lola's family. Um, and um, for us, it, it worked out really well. Um, but I think it's it's all down to individuals. Um, how you tackle things, um, and uh, we were lucky. We we, we all got on, um, and uh, I, I, you know I'm really grateful to Longos family for for giving us the opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, course, and now it's up to us to take it. Yeah, and just piecing everything together for you because, of course, Pat, you were just in your early twenties. You were financially really struggling, and you wanted to give Richard the best life 
possible and you, you, you couldn't do that. It must have just been a gut-wrenching decision to make all those years ago. It was. It, it was uh, horrendous and I was only 17. And um, yes, it was. Um, it's a trauma that nobody would understand unless they'd been through it. But it really is. You get lots of people who've said to me, oh, I would never let my child go. Every individual has their own decisions to make in the circumstances and they, they shouldn't prejudge because I can understand why everybody has to make a decision, no matter how difficult, what is best for the child. And it um, doesn't matter what you feel, even, even though it's the worst feeling you could ever comprehend, um, nobody would understand it unless they'd been through it. No, of course And not. I think I did the right thing now, seeing this lovely young fella um, come into my life. He's not the baby I remembered. He's a fully grown man. And there is, as he said before, it's an instinct, it's a bond that um, is, will always be there. And as he said, you grab it with both hands and he's with me now for life. Absolutely. And it's looking to the future, like you say, Pat. We're talking holidays, I believe, spending lots of time together. It's just a very exciting time for you all, Richard. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it's a new lease of life from my point of view. Um, I had a family beforehand uh, who brought me up and uh, still have a, a massive place in my heart. Um, but uh, they're no longer with us now. Um, so um, moving forward with my birth mum was uh, a natural thing to do. And uh, we're, we're, we're making our own memories now. Absolutely right. Well, thank you so much, Richard and Pat, for sharing your story with us this morning. Um, Long Lost Family, What Happened Next is on tonight at 9pm on ITV and we can right. catch up with your story properly then and send our love to Dawn as well. Thank you so much, Good folks. Thank, thank you. you very much. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.